Porsche DT910. This one, uh, the driver ran it, overheated the thing until the engine seized. We had to use a pry bar to get it undone and uh, loosen it up to where it started, barely. We made it back home to the bus barn, but this thing, it, we're getting ready to in frame the sucker. So, a whole bunch, I'm, I'm gonna do a whole bunch of uh, clips on uh, time lapse, but I will try to address little things here and there, like here. Right now, I'm gonna remove the turbo. 15 millimeter bolts, it's got five, two here and three on top. I gotta remove those heat shields to be able to get to it. I gotta get that little clamp on this little horseshoe. So, let me go ahead and get this one done. Let me get this one out of the way. Well guys, uh, we got the supply hoses and the drain hose. All we gotta do is get that 15 millimeter bolt right there. And then that one, that one, and that one in there, and then there's one right under that hose. And this trouble should come right off, so let me go ahead and get those off. Well guys, uh, five bolts are off, we'll go ahead and remove that thing. Well guys, uh, turbo's off. Put it on the table. And uh, I'm going to have to remove that alternator so I can get to that exhaust manifold and then that EGR cooler. I'm going to clear out this side and then move over to the other side, continue on the other side. And then of course, because i got to knock that head off and uh, check out the pistons. Like I said, this engine overheated quite a bit. It overheated enough to where the engine seized or stopped. I mean, it actually stopped. So we had trouble breaking that engine loose we got it started but the water just started puking out the reservoir so i mean i have a feeling that uh, either there's damage to one of the sleeves but more than likely it's just going to be a head gasket but we're going to go ahead and frame this one anyway so let me go ahead and continue guys let's go ahead and remove that heater too that bracket and that bracket so I can go ahead and get to those tubes behind it and then we're gonna go ahead and go inside afterwards and get that dog house and then we get these little brackets off first Well guys, uh, now we're inside the unit. Uh, we got to get this doghouse off of the unit. It's an engine cover. Uh, I already took all the bolts off of the... I mean, you have roughly like 16 bolts going around the case. You have to remove them and uh, basically loosen this bar. So you can pull the bar out somewhat. So you can go and get that doghouse. You push it into the driver's little area and then you turn it and pull it back out let me go ahead and do that real quick well guys uh i guess uh i, I stopped working on that bus over at the school district came back to the ranch and uh, i was anxious to see what the sticker was going to look like so i went ahead and added the sticker on top of the bus and well let me show you guys this is what i added to the bus Alright, that sticker there replaced that school bus, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, tomorrow, maybe then following, uh, tomorrow, Wednesday, sometime this week, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the compressor and get that gun wrapped or the top, so that, that Joe's bus barn kind of stands out, so we'll see what happens. Uh, I'll try and get it done tomorrow or Wednesday, but I just want to show you guys what 
I replaced that school bus with. Eh, I think it looks kind of cool, dude. So, oh, it didn't do much to the bus, but I did want to see what it was going to look like with that sticker on there. So, well, guys, appreciate you guys watching. Uh, I'll continue with a uh, in frame on that Max Force DT or Max Force 910, sorry, uh, tomorrow. And uh, it's going to be a long process, but I'll finish it eventually. Uh, I should be done tearing it apart tomorrow. Then sending the parts in to get uh, sur the head to get surfaced and all that, buying all the parts. And hopefully, I can get started on putting it back together next week. So. For now, this is going to be it, guys. Again, thanks for watching, and uh, like and subscribe.